Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I am very excited to open up a bunch of figures and add them to one of my shelf displays. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to drop a like down below, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. Upcoming videos will feature similar reviews, diorama builds, and more from the vintage collection, so stay tuned. And as you can see, we have three cases of wonderful vintage collection figures, specifically the 501st Clone Trooper on a Clone Wars card. This trooper from the recent vintage collection wave is one that I've always wanted to army build, and I know there are a lot of other collectors out there who've wanted to add multiples of this figure to their collection. So it is awesome that, you know, Hasbro brought this one back on an awesome new card and gives us that opportunity to, you know, add a bunch of these to our shelves. Not only is this a fantastic figure, but the card is exceptional. I am a big fan of the Clone Wars, so to get one of these in my carded collection is absolutely awesome. I already opened my 501st Trooper from my wave case, so hopefully out of these three case options, I will get a very nice minty card for my collection. But more importantly, I finally get to army build these 501st Troopers and add them to my shelf displays. So let's open these cases, free them from their bubble, and get them in the battle. And here we have my 501st display, which is located just above my Razor Crest hangar bay, which you may have seen this in a previous video. But I think these 501st look fantastic. I'm really happy to have them all set up and displayed. And if you've ever had to put together a display of a bunch of army builders, you know that it can be a little challenging with the whole knocking them over domino effect. But I got it done and I think they look pretty awesome. Here you can see a bunch of 501st Troopers coming out of that Republic gunship. I have some of the older ones here as well and I think they all blend like nicely together. You know, they don't look far off. Obviously the vintage collection ones are much more articulated. So I'm really happy with that. And we also have some of the ARC Troopers, um, Fives and Echo. Can't wait to get Jesse into here as well. I just pre-ordered that. And we also have this Captain Rex from the recent Bad Batch 4-pack, which you may notice that mine looks a little different. I've actually modified him to have a proper rangefinder. I simply just took off the one that they included and then drilled a small peg hole and used a spare rangefinder from an extra Commander Wolf that I had. So it's really nice to have a proper Captain Rex to lead all of these 501st Troopers. And of course we have this amazing figure, which still just blows my mind away how good this Ahsoka from the Clone Wars Season 7 is. Probably one of the best vintage collection figures we've ever gotten. Super, super awesome to have that one. And of course we have Anakin because you can't have the 501st without Anakin. 
Here are a bunch more of those 501st Troopers all set up, as well as Obi-Wan from the Clone Wars and a 212th clone, which I would really like for Hasbro to bring that one into the vintage collection. Um, it wouldn't be hard, you know. This is just the VC-45 with the proper paint job, so definitely one that we need to get into the vintage collection one day. Moving on over here, we have some more clones um, from the Bad Batch set. Just nice to have all these Phase 2 clones all together. You can see some more 501st back there getting ready. A couple up here talking some war stories or something. And then this nice squad marching out. So I really like how I have all this set up. Um, you may notice that this set that I have them displayed in is kind of nice. I really like this. It's not Star Wars, it's a Joy Toy Mecha Depot. Um, it's a really cool set. You can get this on Big Bad Toy Store. I think it might be in stock again. Um, it comes in and out of stock every once in a while, but they really do provide some awesome sets. And I think they actually look really good with like Clone Wars figures and just, I don't know, it's a nice industrial uh, environment to put your figures in. But up here we have a couple more 501st just on Sentry Patrol and also the Shock Troopers, which is another clone that we gotta get back out there. I definitely could see that one coming to a Army Builder set, but I also wouldn't mind seeing it on a Bad Batch card, since they were very prominent in that show. So, pretty cool. And yeah, I'm really happy to have all of these clones displayed. I actually have two more cases that are supposed to be on their way. I'm not sure when, I think they might've got pushed back a little bit. So that'll definitely help fill out this space some more. Not to mention that um, I just pre-ordered a bunch of the 332nd Division from the 501st, Ahsoka's Troopers. So those will definitely be going in here as well. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of 501st Troopers, which is awesome. Because that is something that I wanted. I just wanted to have a bunch of these troops on display and just really army build these guys. So pretty happy to have these. Hopefully you've picked up a bunch of them yourself. We'll just take a little view of everything. And yeah, definitely, definitely happy to have a nice vintage collection representation of these memorable troops. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at my 501st display, and hopefully it inspires some future world building and creative shelf displays in your own collection. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I will see you on the next video.